One of the subjects you wrote about more recently is the NFL. You said it will become a ghettoized sport as a result of concussions, only poor athletes willing to play the game, and that the sport could become obsolete. Mm -hmm. The NFL has been settling with former players. Are they doing enough with current players? No. I mean, I think the, I think the sport is a moral abomination. The NFL just did release that report, actuaries report, trying to estimate what percentage of retired players will, uh, may well be in need of some kind of um, assistance, medical assistance from the league, and they came up with a figure of a third. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you watch football on Sunday, a third of the players you're watching are in the course of playing the game incurring an injury which will significantly impact their life. Um, can you point to another um, industry in America which, uh, as in the course of doing business, maims a third of its employees? Right? This is untenable. We're not just talking about people limping at the age of 50. We're talking about brain injuries that are causing horrible, protracted um, premature death. The idea that, that we are paying people to engage in a sport for our own entertainment that um, causes irreparable damage to themselves is appalling. What about how the NFL has handled some of these domestic violence issues? What's your take on I that? Mean, this is a sport that is living in the past that has no connection to, I think, no connection to, um, to the realities of the game right now and no, no real connection to American society. I mean, if you look at that, was a, the, the whole Ray Rice issue was a, in a microcosm, what's wrong with the NFL, which is they are completely disconnected from the consequences of this sport that they are engaged in, right? That they are socializing young men into a culture of violence, right? And so is it at all surprising that you see the kinds of, of corollary social damage surrounding players that we see, not at all surprising at all, you know. That's not, they're, they're off on this kind of 19th century trajectory, which is fundamentally out of touch with the rest of us. Your friend and podcasting partner, Bill Simmons, called the commissioner of the NFL a liar with respect to the Ray Rice case. He ended up getting suspended for three weeks. Uh, ESPN suspended him. Was that the right decision? No, it's totally the wrong decision. First of all, if a sports columnist in a podcast can't call, you know, the, uh, can't exercise free speech. And by the way, calling him a liar, it's not, it's not like it came out of nowhere. It's like one reasonable conclusion from the whole Ray Rice saga was that the commissioner of the NFL uh, knew about the existence of the videotape and was lying about it. Am I saying that that's what he did? I don't know, but it's a reasonable conclusion. You know, I thought that in the course of expressing their opinions, um, sports columnists are allowed to draw conclusions. Apparently not. Apparently you get suspended for that. I, I thought that was a, an, an embarrassingly low moment. For Do you think football still disappears, still goes away? I don't see how it doesn't. I mean, I think, oh, you know, once there's, there'll be a, it'll start to shrivel up at the high school and college level. And then the pro game, I think, it will eventually wither on the, on the vine. I mean, look, Boxing was one of the biggest sports in this country in the 1920s and 30s. Where is it now? Sports don't, you know, exist forever if they cease to have um, some kind of uh, a compelling um, narrative. And football's, you know, narrative is falling apart.